All right, we have to sketch the graph of this function and then answer some follow-up questions. So this is an absolute value function. You can tell because you have the uh, absolute value bars. So the absolute value function looks like a V, right? Like a V. So this would be the absolute value of X. Right, okay, now when you add a number to the X, right, we're adding five. That means we're gonna go left five. And when you add a number to the actual absolute value to the function, like here we're adding three, that means we're gonna go up three. So you take this picture and you shift it left five and up three. So let's do it over here. So there's the y-axis, there's the x-axis, so x, y. And starting in the middle, we'll just take this, this point and we'll go left five and up three. So uh, say here's five and say here's three. So it's right there. And then we just draw the V. Now are we done? Uh, it depends. We should probably find the y-intercept. So to find the y-intercept, you just plug in zero. So f of zero is the absolute value of zero plus five plus three. So the absolute value of five is just five. So we get the absolute value of five plus three. So five plus three, so eight. So we found the y intercepts. So that's how you graph uh, this function. For the next part it says at what number does our function have a minimum? So it's asking for the x value, really really important. So where it happens is the x value. So it happens right here, right, when x is negative 5. So the answer is just x equals negative 5. That's where we have a minimum. When it asks you what the minimum is, it wants the y value. So what's the smallest y value? Well, the smallest y value is 3. So the answer here is y equals 3. So when it says, at what number does it have a min? Where does it happen? Uh, we want to answer that in terms of x's. And if it's asking for the min, we just use the y. Now, decreasing, you always want to answer in terms of x's for these. right? So your answer always involves x values. So it's decreasing from negative infinity all the way to negative 5 negative infinity to negative 5. And you always want to use parentheses when you're doing problems with increasing, decreasing. Again, from negative infinity, way over here, all the way to negative 5, it's getting smaller. Increasing, well, it starts getting bigger at negative 5. So from negative 5 to infinity, it is increasing. That's it.